Jack's Transmissions. I'm making a little video today uh, to show you how your trans oil pressure gauge, which I have here in the center display, also have throttle position and uh, speed. How your trans oil pressure gauge can tell you a few things as to what the uh, transmission is doing. Uh, a lot of people view the gauge as pretty useless, but uh, you know it, it can actually tell you uh, a few things as to what's going on. So typically on a GTR, the DCT transmission, uh, when you have this switch in normal mode, it will uh, have the next highest gear pre-selected at all times. So right now I'm in fifth, it has sixth gear pre-selected. If I'm in fourth, it'll have fifth gear pre-selected. So the next gear up is always ready to go. If we go into R mode, the TCM will try to predict depending on you know, speed, load, um, throttle position, what gear you may want next. Uh, basically, it, it just it just uses load to figure out um, you know, what gear you may want. So, like right now I'm in fourth gear. If I give it a little bit of throttle, it's gonna pre-select fifth, and because it thinks that you know, I'm likely to upshift next. If I take my foot off the throttle and slow down, it's probably gonna think that uh, I'm going to want third gear next, so pre-select third gear. So it can switch back and forth between third and fifth all the time while you're in R mode, you know, depending on your throttle position. So if you watch the oil pressure gauge, anytime the trans needs to shift, the pressure will go up and it'll blip the pressure up to give the pistons enough pressure to engage the next gear and then the pressure will go back down. So as you can see right now, I'm in fourth gear, it's got fifth pre-selected. If I let off the throttle, you'll see a blip as it pre-selects third. There's the blip, so it's in third. So now I hit the gas and start to accelerate. You see the blip again? And now pre-selected fifth. So as I'm driving here in R mode, you know, if I take my foot off the throttle, slow down a little bit to keep my speed. Oh, I'm in third gear. Now I accelerate, oh, it's pre-selected fifth. Take my foot off, third, fifth, third, fifth, third. So online, um, you know, people say, oh, run your trans in R mode all the time. Well, it's really not a very good thing when you're just putting around like this because the trans is constantly shifting. You know, anytime you, you, know, you get on the throttle or off the throttle, it's gonna try to predict what gear you want next because it's, it really doesn't know what you wanna do. So, you know, it's just going to assume when you hit the throttle, you want to, you know, you want the next highest gear, you let off, you want the, the lower gear. And, you know, you can shift back and forth like this. It's just, it'll wear parts out. Um, you know, obviously the synchros that have to work uh, some overtime with that. If you have a CBA, um, you know, eventually in time as it's shifting back and forth all the time, you can break your synchro sleeve stops. Um, you know, you can... It's highly unlikely it'll happen, but you know you can wear your forks out or break them or, or whatever. So, yeah, it's just one thing to keep in mind is if you're just cruising around, just turn it off. You don't really need it in R mode for something like this, uh, and it'll definitely save some wear and tear on the trans. I guess that's about it. I hope that uh, this video was fairly informative, and uh, please visit us on our uh, private uh, Facebook page. It's called uh, DCT Owners Group. Um, it's, uh, it's just a little uh, area where um, we try to get people together that uh, own either an R35 GTR or uh, Evo 10, Rally Art, Mitsubishi uh, with the twin clutch units. And we try to offer uh, tech support there and uh, you know, try to share information like this that might be useful for you. So yeah, please uh, sign up, uh, give us a visit at uh, DCT Owners Group. and. Uh, Look forward to seeing you there.